Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be taking you through stress and we will begin from word stress. Stress is the emphasis placed on a word or a given part of a word. We have word stress as well as sentence stress. For the purpose of this video, I will be talking about word stress. It really helps to know about what we call uh, syllables if one is to understand about stress. And a syllable is the basic unit of speech. We have uh, words subdivided into various groups depending on the number of syllables they have. So words that only have one syllable are referred to as monosyllabic. And if you look at my first table there, there are monosyllabic words on one column and at the same time disyllabic on the other column. So examples of uh, Words with just one syllable, we have from the board here, come, sit, flower, crush, dream, hour, go, breath, and sow. As you can also see from the board, in uh, words with only one syllable, there is the, the only syllable is uh, stressed. Moving to disyllabic words, that is the words that have two syllables. We have beside, we have farmer, chicken, approach, obtain, music, tailor, prefix, and daughter. So in such words, one syllable is stressed. That is, in pronouncing that given syllable, more force is uh, exerted than the rest of the word. Again, we have words that have more than two syllables. The multi-syllabic words. An example, we have trans, potation, we have terrified, we have significantly, and then we have punishment. One thing that uh, I want to reiterate here is that vowel sounds help us determine the number of syllables that exist in a given word, because at every point, that you meet a vowel sound, we will be talking about uh, one syllable. Like for example, if you look at monosyllabic words, there only exists one vowel sound in those given words. Like in come, in sit, in flower. So in flower, it is also worth noting that uh, it may seem like we have uh, two vowel sounds, but then what we have as awa, flower, awa, there are three vowel sounds that form a single vowel sound. And that is what we call a triphthong. A triphthong is a vowel sound that is formed by adding three vowel sounds. So the triphthong is what makes flower to be counted as having just a single vowel sound and for that matter therefore a monosyllabic word. Stress is uh, very important especially in giving meaning and context 
to a given word. In words with two syllables or more, a single syllable is stressed more than the rest. As we can see in uh, the various disyllabic words here on the board, beside the second syllable, that is side, is uh, stressed or pronounced with more force as compared to the first part. If we also look at uh, the, uh, the categories of the words with uh, more than two syllables, like in significant, Ikently, the stress falls under the second syllable, that is uh, nif. As I said earlier, stress provides meaning to given words. There are some times that words may be the same, their spelling may be the same. But meaning can change based on the position that is stressed. An example hereby is uh, I want us to consider the two tables that I've drawn here below. And the first table, on one column there are nouns and on the other columns there are uh, verbs. So in nouns, the first syllable is stressed while in verbs the second syllable is stressed an example here is when the first syllable in the first word there is stressed that is here it reads as subject subject and that is a noun when the first part is stressed. When the second part of the word is stressed, that is the second syllable, the word is read, read as subject. Subject. The other example there, we have pro, pro is uh, stress, ject. Project. Project. And that is the noun. When the verb is stressed, we read it as project, project. So noun, subject, subject. Verb, subject, uh, project, project. That is a noun. A verb, project, project. So depending on where one stresses, we come up with either a noun or a verb. For nouns, we stress the first syllable. For verbs, we stress the second syllable. That also happens when talking about adjectives and verbs. And I want to draw your attention to the second table where on one column we have adjectives and on the other column we have verbs. The first a uh, similar to nouns in adjectives we also stressed the first syllable while in verbs just as we had said earlier we stress the second syllable an example here is present present the verb present present so the second syllable is stressed and that is a verb an ex another example, absent, absent. In adjective, we stress ab. In a, as a verb, we stress uh, sent. So it reads as absent, absent. One decides to absent himself or herself from school. Sometimes it can change, uh, it can prove a little bit challenging in knowing which part of the word to stress, especially in words with more than two syllables. I first want to take us through disyllabic words, the various patterns that you can look out for in stressing the 
corresponding parts of uh, the disyllabic words. An example, in an event that uh, a word is disyllabic, that is, it has two syllables, when the second part has a long vowel or a diphthong, or maybe it has two consonants following one another at the end and at the second syllable, stress that second syllable. An example hereby is uh, the word that exists here on the table, B side. So the second syllable is side and it contains a diphthong that is I. So it follows or it passes for uh, the rule that we have here because it has a diphthong. So in that case, we stress the second part side. That also happens with uh, this other word, obtain. Obtain. So tain is the second syllable and we have a diphthong a. Another example, we have deplate, 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 deplate. So a is also a diphthong and it uh, falls under the second syllable. So it also passes to follow our rule. The last one is deduct, deduct. So the second syllable, duct, has consonant, two consonant sounds following one another, that is k and t. Another thing to note is that uh, we should stress the first syllable in disyllabic words in an event that that, ki that second syllable contains a short vowel or one or no consonant. An example here is firmer, 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 firmer. So there is in the second syllable, ma, there is a short vowel sound, and that is the shua, the short sound, a, uh, firmer. So in such a case, stress the first syllable, fa. That also happens in the word chicken, chicken, chicken. So in chicken, again, you stress the first syllable, that is chi, because there is that short a uh, appearing in the second syllable, chicken, 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 chicken. Again, another rule to also look at, maybe before that, other examples that you can look at is center, sorrow, and usual. Uh, another thing to look out for is in compound nouns, stress the first syllable. An example here is in Macbook, you stress the first syllable Mac. In uh, bridegroom, you also stress the first syllable bride. In compound adjectives, stress the second syllable. An example here is weak end, you stress end. Good natured, so you stress uh, ne, the beginning of uh, that second part of the adjective. For compound verbs, you do the same as in uh, compound adjectives. You stress the second part. An example, underestimate. So you stress estimate. The same as of a crowd. You stress the word crowd. To those who are new here, allow me to kindly ask you to hit onto the subscribe button so that Anytime we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. For the written scripts of what we do here, you can also check out on omoloezra.blogspot.com.
to our subscribers. Thank you very much for the support you give to us. Again, as we continue with the, the various stress rules, when uh, a word ends in suffixes shown here, uh, that is on the first part, I A L U A L and so on, then stress the syllable immediately before the suffix. An example is here on the word politician. So the word, the, the, the syllable is politician. So you stress the syllable immediately before that suffix and that is li. We also have memorial, memorial. So you stress the second, the syllable immediately before that and that is more and that also happens here on parameter. Stress falls on the second syllable before the following suffixes that is ate, ize and ise. If a word ends in those suffixes then remember to stress the syllable the second syllable before that suffix. An example is on facilitate. You stress sil because we have the syllable, we have the syllable containing the suffix that is state, and then we have e, then we have the syllable to be stressed that is sil. The same as organize. The syllable containing the suffix is eyes and uh, nice. Then we have ga. Then you stress the second syllable before that. The same thing also happened in secondary. 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 We also stress sec because we have sec as a syllable and uh, or and dri, dri. So we stress sec. Stress occurs in the following suffixes. So stress occurs on the syllables containing the following suffixes. And that is e e e e r e s e i q u e e w t e like in pioneer the stress falls on near legalize the stress falls on lies and then cigarette it also uh, falls on rate we can also use prefixes to predict stress and uh, pref prefixes are normally stressed in three syllable nouns and adjectives but not always in verbs and the word not always is in red ink to show that there are exceptions and an example here is continent continent so the prefix con is stressed that is a noun incident incident and uh, the stress in is also stress indicate indicate so the stress uh, the prefix in is also stress but when we come to verbs consider seda is stressed that is the second part now the prefix is not stressed and just the same way we say that in three syllable nouns and adjectives uh, prefix is stress but not always in verbs and as we can see in envisage uh, n which is the prefix is also not stress remember that the following suffixes down here that is a l o u s l y e r e d list i n g meant don't affect stress an example we have we have the word permanent now when we add the suffix li the same place where there was uh, 
a stress that is on par that is where it is still maintained and the same with develop develop the stress is on v v develop develop and the same when it is in development thank you viewers i hope you find the content here helpful until next time